friends welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am in cabo mexico with chris and his family for christmas so i just basically want to show you guys what my life looks like right now we'll catch you guys up on everything you saw a little bit of a physique update with me so right now i'm doing what is what Nick calls performance-based nutrition. So on my days that I'm working out, I'm higher carb, and on the days that I am not working out, I am lower carb. Also on a four-day split. But while I'm here in Cabo, I just wanna show you guys how I'm finding my balance, how I kind of compromise, and how I just work in the situations that I'm in, and how I've learned to do that after recovering, after prepping, um, and just my life now. So right now, I am about to go to the gym with Chris. I don't have pre-workout and I just really like flavor before the gym so I'm actually drinking a Diet Coke because I am health. Um, and then yeah, there's not as much equipment as a normal gym would, would have so I want to show you guys my entire workout there. Um, I'm feeling really good. I honestly just love my life so much right now and I just want to show you guys it. So I'm going to show you my workout and then I want to talk to you guys a little bit how over this entire past year I found my version of balance and how I want to help you guys find your version of balance. So let's go and work out. Just before I head to the gym, let's can we just talk about how beautiful this is with the... Oh my god. And now we go gym. As you guys saw, I pretty much just stuck to the basics. Um, there was actually some pretty good equipment in there. So, 
Chris is gonna go. <laughs> so now we're gonna go and try and find some chickens, and if we can't, then we're just gonna probably go home. But I'll make food and I'll show you guys. Guys, this is what we're working with. Found some tuna. We had no luck with the chickens, so I made. I just mixed Greek yogurt, mustard, and tuna, and I had it on an open-faced sandwich. Okay guys, so I just did a little bit of work. I'm having like a midday meal, not snack. Some coffee, because I really need it, and then... Like I said, just working with what I have. And I found some Kodiak cakes and some eggs and I was like, well, there's protein. So probably gonna go out for dinner later and then I wanna have a little bit of a talk with you guys about finding my balance. I'm gonna eat and I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little bit of workout. I'm sorry if you guys can like really hear the ocean in the background right now, it's kind of loud. Um, but I just wanna talk to you guys a little bit about how 2017 went for me, how I really found what I thought and what I still think and still practice is my version of balance. Um, and hopefully encouraging you guys to help find yours. And honestly, it's like experimentation and just a lot of like learning about yourself. Um, but I definitely think it is possible. So this word balance, everyone thinks it's like bullshit and they throw it around and I think that is bullshit. Um, I do believe in balance. Now, when it comes to balance, I don't think it means balanced eating. That's what everyone looks at balance as. Like, oh, hey, if I eat cheesecake the next day, I'm gonna eat carrots and broccoli and chicken for the rest of the day. Like, that's might be your balance, but that's not everyone else's balance. Um, and I don't really think balance is terms of eating. So for me, balance all came down to my mentality. The one thing that I really noticed would help me find mine, um, which I will define what I really think my version of balance is, but is really just letting go of the past, living for now, and then, doing what makes me happy. So I used to revolve my entire life around food. Um, and that's what, you know, I said was a balanced lifestyle because if I had a healthy meal with chicken, rice, and broccoli, and then I had two pieces of chocolate, that's balanced. Like, yeah, that's balanced towards a meal, but it's not balanced for my lifestyle. So this year, what I really learned was just focusing on what makes me happy and making my body feel a certain way. Um, whether that means going to the gym, whether that means eating a meal that I want to eat regardless if it's healthy or if it's considered not healthy, um, going to social events because I wanted to or because I didn't want to because I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of a homebody. Um, even with like Chris, sometimes we just stay in and that's just what we want to do. So yeah, we'll go out a few nights, but then we'll also stay back and just kind of chill. Um, another thing that I really just learned about finding my balance was taking time to evaluate every situation. So my version of, version of balance, I would say, has changed over this last year because I'm a lot more chill when it just comes to like certain situations. And I definitely think that the main thing that's changed my version of balance is not really letting food define it. Um, thinking in terms of how I feel about my body, how I feel about my mind, making sure that I feel comfortable um, in every situation that I'm in, whether that be going out with friends, being with my family, like just anything. And I just want you guys to know that your body doesn't define who you are and I'm going to continue to preach that because a lot of people think that food is going to make them look a certain way or act a certain way or perform a certain way and everything. And, while that's important, think about how it makes you feel. I don't want you emotionally to attach yourself to food. I don't think that's the best thing. Um, you know, just fueling your body, fueling your mind, um, focusing out on things like that, and just really feeling comfortable in every situation that you put yourself in. And know that food doesn't mean balance, but just finding an overall path that you love, that you're going to pursue, whether it be your career, your workouts, your food, just everything, your love life. Um, and I definitely think those are some things that I found this year. Um, so yeah. Just remember that you guys define what balance is, your own version. It comes as what you want it to be. And just make sure that you make sure that you're comfortable in every situation that you're in. So I love you guys so much. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys try that workout. Um, pretty limited. Uh, equipment, so I think it's kind of cool to include in here. And Cabo is absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited to continue to show you guys what I'm doing here. It's been an awesome year. I'm so excited for 2018.